What's up guys, it's Jeff with 10 Safari tips to share with you today. This is for the iOS 7 version of Safari. The first tip I'm gonna show you right now is favorites. And when you open up a new tab or you type in a URL, this page will come up showcasing all your favorites. You can actually customize the favorites displayed here. Now, obviously if you just have a, a, a list of folders with all your favorites, you can tap on one of those folders to open that folder and show a list of all the links inside that folder. But what if you wanted to actually display, for instance, the blog folder right here? What if I just wanted to display that blogs folder instead? Well, I can go to the settings in Safari here and I can go to favorites and then just check the blogs folder and that would display all the links inside that blogs folder as icons, just like that. So that's a really handy new feature in iOS 7. You can also sort those favorites just by using a tap, hold, and drag gesture. So I'm gonna tap and hold on the GigaOM and just drag that up in the upper left-hand corner and release. And you can do that and rearrange any of the, uh, the favorites that you have just like that. Super easy, super simple. Now let's talk about another new feature that can be found in the new iOS 7 Safari, and that is in the passwords and autofill section. You'll notice this section, credit cards. Yes, you can save credit cards. You can add a credit card right here and then use that to populate credit card fields in forms on websites and things like that. And it also uses a passcode to secure that area so you can't just you know wander in there if you don't have your passcode. The next new feature that I'd like to talk about is tabs. Yes, now you can have infinite tabs in the iOS 7 version of Safari. And I know this is kind of a, a known feature, but it's still really cool when you consider we were just limited to eight tabs not that long ago. Now you can have infinite tabs, keep opening those up as many as you want, no arbitrary limits involved here. You can also rearrange tabs. So if you tap, hold, and drag on any of the tabs, you can move those and sort those to any area that you want. So it's good to uh, sort those tabs if you have a lot of them open, specific sites that you want to appear before others, you can do that by means of the tap, hold, and drag gesture. You can also dismiss tabs or kill tabs just by using a swipe from right to left gesture or hit that little X in the upper, upper uh, left-hand corner. But I really like the swipe from right to left gesture to kill those tabs, it makes killing tabs Pretty much just a brainless thing. You don't have to tap anything. You just swipe from right to left and the tabs are gone. Now, another awesome new feature is the iCloud tabs. Now, iCloud tabs isn't something new. Uh, this is something that was in iOS 6 before it, but now you can access those just by swiping all the way down on the new tab page. So when you, you're on the tab page, you just swipe all the way down and then you'll see all the various links that are open on your other devices that are linked to iCloud. So I have IDB here on my MacBook Air, on my iPod, I have several different sites there. So I can tap on iDownload blog and load that up directly on my uh, iPhone uh, because it was open on my iCloud connected Safari account on my uh, MacBook Air there. So it makes it super easy to access open tabs on other devices in other words. There's also private browsing. Again, private browsing isn't something that's new or uh, improved even, it's pretty much the same. But for anyone who's used iOS 6, you know how much of an improvement this is. You can actually access private browsing mode directly from within the app. You could not do that on previous versions of iOS. You actually had to exit out, go into the settings, go into the preferences for Safari and access private browsing mode there. So now you can do it from anywhere, right from within the new tab interface. The next new option that you'll find here is shared links. This is actually under the bookmarks section. This is a new feature in iOS 7. This is not in previous versions of iOS. And basically this pulls in all the links from your Twitter timeline, all your followers. And once they post links, it'll just list all those links here. And then you can tap on that. You can see who actually posted the link. You can see at the top there, Josh posted this, this link here, so uh, I can browse to that, and it makes it really easy to find who's talking about what in my Twitter timeline. Now, last but not least, AirDrop. This is a new feature for sharing web pages or any other stuff, lots of other stuff in iOS, but for Safari, it's great for sharing web pages. So all I do is I tap on the avatar, the person in my vicinity with an iOS 7 enabled device, and then this is what they see. I just shared this page, I accept it, and it loads it up just like that. Folks, these are 10 new awesome features that you'll find in the iOS 7 version of Safari. Let me know what you think in the comments. This is Jeff. 
with I Don't Know Blog.